give a big thank you and a big shout out to Daniel Hallam for sending me this jumpsuit. PAQ presents Lend Me Your Era. Yo, welcome back to PAQ. I'm Elias, that's Dexter, that's Shaquille, and that is Danny. And we are the best fashion show on the internet. If you don't believe us, wheel up a trailer. So every episode we give away a Kyra tote bag to a random commenter in the first three hours. For your chance to win, you know what to do. For this week's challenge, it's a challenge that I've been wanting to do for time. We want to pay homage to the OG era that is the 70s. When you think of the 70s, what do you think of instantly? Well, for me, flares. You think of disco and you think of funk. Punk in general, like punk as a whole. Um, you know, they were like literally pushing the barriers for like what men could wear back in those days or wearing like leather, like flares. With the fashion in the 70s, especially for musicians, every look was a statement look. I feel like the 70s was really a time people were like, I'm going to express myself as wacky, as crazy, as glittery as I can. You know, we all agree that the 70s are a lot of fashion, right? They've got Alessandro's Gucci, which is mad floral. Cowboy looks are also another thing. Calvin Klein has been big on that at the moment. So this is once again not about costumes. This is us literally doing research and finding cool styles that maybe aren't looked upon as much nowadays. So 70s fits. You all ready? Yes, sir. Seventies fits, can't lie, been waiting for this one still. Honestly, it's an era that I just relate to so heavily. Seventies was a, such an iconic era, it inspired so many fashion trends that we have today. It's one of the biggest pioneer eras of all time. A lot of experimenting, a lot of different movements. You've got some of the greatest fashion icons as well. You've got Bowie, you've got Hendrix. How can I not reference my next door neighbour, Elton John? Did I say Bow Wow? No, I thought you said Bow Wow. Oh, no, no. Well, he's not actually my next door neighbor, but from the same area, you get me, Zone 9. It's still kind of hard to grasp what is 70s. And I think what I need to do is whittle it down and find out the roots of some of these movements. I'm going to use the power of the internet. I'm basically just going to ask you guys what 70s subculture I should do. So I'm just going to give that like a couple of hours and then see what we get back with. I'm going to touch on the subject of black empowerment. So I'm here today in Brixton. It's an amazing photography exhibition here that talks about the 70s and the Black Panther movement. One of the photographers is a guy called Neil Kenlock. He was the photographer for the Black Panther movement back in the day. I need to educate myself. I need to educate you guys and I understand the culture before I actually get this dope fit. So did I just say dope? I just said dope. dope. I just said dope. <laughs> so we're about to go to Mendoza menswear. We're about to meet up with man like Leroy. Leroy! I'm Leroy from Mendoza Menswear. What we do, we do a reproduction of 1960s, 65 to 73 in men's clothing with a dandyish style. The route that I want to go down is like funky influenced with a bit of dandyism. It's the, it's the area I'm coming from because I'm an old boy, believe it or not. <laughs> So today I'm in Labrick Grove, I'm going to Rockin's Emporium. They sell loads of flamboyant stuff referenced from the 70s era, so it only makes sense I hit up that spot. Hi, I'm Jess Morris and this is my store, Rockin's. This is serious. Look at this leather jacket, boy. That is a real statement jacket. So what type of people usually come in here and shop? And she was listing some like mad names. She was like, yo, like Elias from PAQ came through one time. And I was like, oh, Jess, man, don't like, don't like, gonna make me blush. Yeah, you know, uh, Keith Richards, okay. Johnny Depp, Ooh, some big right. names, some you big know. Names. Definitely falling in love with this jacket. I think this is amazing. We've killed a lot of time and we've had tons of responses off you guys at home, so thank you very much for that. Grace underscore Lothian said, 70s when Northern Soul movement reached its peak, so Northern Soul slash Soul Boy style. I feel like that'd be really cool, but I think it's too obvious. Jasmine.ee underscore, hippies, punk rock, heavy metal. There's a lot of early punk. Gianni Rivaldo said, Pastafarians. Italian Jamaicans, anyone? No? This is mad. We've named it the Hayes, the Hayes. after Isaac Hayes back in the 70s, because that's the kind of thing he would wear. You know who Isaac Hayes is, Chef? Uh... He's, 
I feel like you're so disappointed. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> I know. I didn't want to say it. Ooh, hold on. Sam Trotman has just messaged me. Sam was the one who judged our Levi's episode. So Sam put, this sounds dope. You should look into the whole New York City male hustler style from which the Ramones borrowed from. Crop top tees, skinny jeans with bulging crotch. It's all taken from Rent Boy style. Might be a bit too much PAQ though. I might even just message Sam asking if I can meet up with him for the hustle. So right now I'm looking at some archive photographs. I'm looking at a photo of um, Angela Davis. I'm looking at this afro and it looks, it looks wavy. They just look powerful. That is fire. First of all, I haven't seen a shirt with square buttons since ever. Wow. I see a lot of guys in like trousers, towel necks or jumpers and blazers. With the Black Panthers in America, it was more of a, a uniform. As for here, it's not it's not such about the uniform or what they were wearing, it's more about the message. Look at the detail on the sleeve there. Flowers. You can almost smell them. See the guys with their fists up. So I'm putting my fist up too. Is it? Yeah. Dude, both hands. <laughs> Everyone here is looking steezy, they're looking very powerful. Definitely unity going on this picture, they're gonna stand together. Right. Danny Lomas, Lomas wishes, wishes he could. He ain't have no scarf game like this. What have we got going on here? There's a little, are these like flower faces? <laughs> these are jokes. <laughs> wow, this, this photo must be rare. So in the 70s, Bob Marley actually came to the UK, like met up with Black Panthers. As a black man from the UK, I definitely needed to look at these images. Yo man, it makes me proud. Actually, real stuff, it makes me proud, knowing that we actually fought, you know what I'm saying, and we stood together. I want to say a massive shout out to the BCA. Some of the references I picked up on were like hats, leather, utility, workwear. So I'm going to try some of these clothes on and then... Get this uh, dress up off the rail, because I'm taking it off the rail and I'm getting dressed. You get me? Safe. Woo. I probably am going to cop another leather jacket. Seeing all this leather, I'm thinking, ooh. Hey guys, it's Sam Trotman. You might remember me from the Levi's Festival Fits episode. I'm going to be talking to Danny today about the Ramones. I love the Ramones, but I wanted to kind of get deeper and find out where the style came from and like what are the key pieces and why they wear them. Ramones were really one of the first to really wear bikers as a more kind of like subverted style, I guess. Yeah. And they inspired like people like Sex Pistols. And you, when you think of punk, you usually think of the Sex Pistols, right? But the Ramones were the ones who were actually wearing it early on and like they were doing um, gigs over in London. And they'd be like Sid Vicious would go and watch the gigs and then they'd end up wearing them. Well, the big rock stars are wearing what we wear now, like Billy Joel, they're wearing their leather jacks and Queen and... They're uh, trying to be the Ramones too. I guess the whole sort of style of the NYC sort of male hustlers with the look of what sort of like came with the Ramones, there's kind of like a mix of references, all of them sort of linked back to Marlon Brando as being a sort of the key influencer for the gay leathermen. And you think of what the Ramones were sort of wearing at that time as well, leather jackets, cropped t-shirts and their yeah. super tight jeans and that was kind of like a mix of both yeah this leather man culture as well as the glam rock kind of influences that were coming out oh it's fascinating yeah. i love it oh <laughs> this is definitely very fitted and feels very great yo i feel so cool right now i'm not even gonna lie and these boots bro oh my days i've never worn stuff like this before this is so sick this blazer literally feels like exactly fitted to the millimeter and i feel mad confident i feel mad sick like can't even wipe the smile off my face, bro. So right now, I'm in Brick Lane, I'm outside Bashir and Sun, and my mission is to go and get a new leather jacket. So we're about to make this happen. Black Panthers. My light Dench, my light Pal himself. This place is heavily recommended by me, and obviously the lethal of the biz. <laughs> my light lethal bizzle. I see you doing that first brand deal. Is that check safe? Check must have been heavy. I swear he's like a millionaire now. We'll start in Brick Lane posters, man. Ambition, bro. Let's go, let's make it happen. She and Sons. What is up, you guys? Man, like Magnus. Yeah. What are you saying, man? You all right? I'm trying to be less negative. Yeah, I know it's been a minute, man. I think back when I started YouTube, I was kind of seeing everyone as competition in a way. I know about the beady wires and all that stuff, and you have to dye your hair pink, but no hard feelings, right? You just had to. Had to expose me like that. <laughs> I don't want to send any shots. Come on in. Come on in, mate. <sighs> How are you doing? My name is the bad man, AKA Nemo. And why do I call myself Nemo? Because I'm in the sea, like Nemo. And I need some more, you know, bitches. I can't deny I am one of the flyest in the land. There's no question about it. How does one do it? How does one look this fine? I'm gonna give you some time to think about that. Nemo out.
Nah, nah, but for real though, like, this is actually mad. This jacket makes you feel like a million bucks. This is like a, this is a big daddy jacket. Definitely, 100%. Yo, this is like the undertaker of the Black Panthers, bruv. I feel like I should be a sugar daddy, but I'm not a sugar daddy. I feel like I'm retaining all the sugar for myself, which is why I've got this jacket. I feel like Neo and that just... Shout out to all the girls that couldn't see past my dead crepes, my, my dead school shoes. Because look at me now, baby. Money man, yeah? Look at my shoulders. Done. Pull up on short, you're all smooth. Hey, what's up, baby? Yeah. Instantly looking at that is very Ramones. Typically, yeah, the Ramones look was Scott leather biker jacket, some sort of vintage band tee, usually cropped, and they were strictly wearing Levi's back then. I actually feel good in this, you know what I mean? I feel like this makes my arms look quite nice. Man's slim thick. Can we just call themselves slim thick? It's called no jawline, just neck and shoulders. So I tried on the patchwork blue jeans. They were really lovely. They were flared. They sat really nice on the boots. Oh, this is nice, man. Look at that DMX. <laughs> These are fire. Next step, review, calculate, mood board, storyboard, immerse myself into the 70s. Very simple, nice cut on the pockets as well. It's comfortable as well. Hello. This has to be my favourite suit ever. The 70s, 70s fashion is just so different. It's so rich. It's so, like, its own lane. My kind of vibe that I got, like, looking through those pictures was that these people are working class. You know, they're normal, everyday people. Using them references and what I've seen, I decided I'm not going to go to no bougie place and get a mad leather jacket. No, I'm just going to go to a local family-owned business in the middle of East London and show you guys that I can still flex. Visited Sam, we had a chat through some of the books, we had a chat through some of the looks, and now I can go out there, and yeah, we'll have a full of the moon's fit. So, Uncle Leroy, thank you so much, my dog, for coming through, just showing me real fashion. Shout out to also Jess, for coming through with a Harlequin scarf for me. It's your boy Dexter Black, aka the Militant One, and I'll see you, you get me? Not, not done yet, not done. Fade. Not done. <laughs> <laughs> So Mia, thank you for coming down and judging this episode. Hi, my name is Mia. I'm the founder of Mad 70s. This week is all about 70s, basically. I'm very excited to judge the boys on their 70s outfits. The 70s was such a bold period. I'd like to see colour, patterns. So I'm really excited to um, see what you have found. Sweet, let's go. If Elias's outfit doesn't make me laugh, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> <laughs> That is amazing. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm staying. I'm a massive fan of the 70s, but I'm kind of more like, I kind of be more into like wearing like, just like rocking flares and like a hoodie. And in my head, I'm like, okay, 70s is all about being flamboyant. And I got a, you know, a neighbor of mine, you know, Elton John from Zone 9, he's on the same area as me. And I was like, you know what? I have to channel him. So I'm wearing uh, Margiela Tabby boots. I've never worn these before, but you know, here I am. I thought this is the perfect outfit to wear it with, right? <laughs> like two wham toes, and just foot. <laughs> so this kind of keeps it a little bit more contemporary with the, the tabbies. And I'm just wearing um, these flares from Contemporary Wardrobe, as well as this uh, kind of like, you know, satin. Shirt. The jacket is actually from a women's section in Topshop. And then the glasses are also from the Contemporary Wardrobe Archive. This is me! <laughs> it, it was a very bold, very brave outfit. What I really like is that you've mixed modern with vintage. I also like the quite feminine details. I think the colour combination is really nice. I love a pair of big sunglasses, so... Here we are. This is it! <laughs> Jacket looks so sick. I will have to go onto the shoes though, because I still think them split toes are even mad. Like, I think this is like probably one of the cleanest outfits you've had in a while. And <laughs> <laughs> one while. How many like toes go in the front? Is that just your big one toe? One toe, fam. One toe. Yes. 
How small are your toes, G? <laughs> I'm saying like... It's a camel toe for your foot, brethren. Not much it's like wearing flip-flops. Fabulous outfit. Um, Danny, you're next. Sweet. Can you do this? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> My fit is based on the New York male hustlers in the 70s, which, for those who don't know, is where the Ramones got their style from. Oh, so one thing I always love about Danny's outfit is that they're always super informative. And one of them, Dee Dee, used to be a rent boy, essentially. That's what they always dressed like, where it was crop tops, leather jackets, and essentially they used to wear either like old Converse or Ked. I gotta give it to you, he actually pulled it off, I can't lie. And then these are the original Levi's 505s, then it's an original 1970s Mickey Mouse top. Then it's the actual official shop Perfecto jacket. So it's not just any leather jacket, it is the one that the Ramones used to wear. I definitely think you've channeled the Ramones. They definitely did the drain pipes and then they usually wore jackets that's actually too small for them. I feel like the whole entire outfit is sick, man, but you already know I have to wear plimp soles to prom. And now, <laughs> now, now, you, <laughs> now, now you make me feel like, you know, plimp soles are swaggy, cool. so. Yeah, I was not expecting you to come out in there. So this was probably like the furthest thing in my head that you was going to do. And I think that's super sick to the fact that, you know, 70s people kind of have like a stereotype of it. This is obviously showing the side of the era that not everyone knows about. I didn't even know about like the Rent Boys myself, so you've educated me. Well, the hustlers. Can we start saying hustlers no, for the no, Red Boys? No, no, you're going to say the Red Boys, mate. You wanted to do it. You're going you're gonna to embrace it. Dial 0675592 to get yourself <laughs> Danny Lomas. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Dex, you're next. Came out of shack. <laughs> I wanted to do something that I haven't really done on PAQ before, and that's actually look into you know, my culture, being a black man. In the 70s, one of the movements was the Black Panther movement. I went to Brixton to the Black Cultural Archives. I looked at photos taken in the 70s by a guy called Neil Kenlock. I'm hoping you learnt a lot. I think that is a really fascinating topic. For this outfit, it wasn't about me spending a lot of money. It was more about um, like respecting the time, and I also made my own sign. What's it say? Black is the power of the soul. That's, That's amazing. Right. I decided to wear a women's leather jacket because I know around that time there was a lot of like, you know, gender fluidity. These are Docs, Dr. Martens and Yoji Yamamoto. SCRT um, cargos, plain black glasses and the beret. I think it's a really fabulous outfit. I love the structured, longer length leather jacket. Again, it's also more about the history. The whole aesthetic is, is a vibe, man, and I really respect you referencing such an important era and an important time, especially for people of our community. Do you know what I mean? The fashion end product is fantastic. It takes you really well. I think the journey to get there is what elevates it even further. I think that's the whole thing about fashion is expression, right? And if you can like express something that is like, you know, very informative or relevant within history, then definitely take that chance. Okay, Shaq, you're up next. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, you look amazing. Thank you. The day started with me going to a lovely place in West London called Portobello Road. I tried on so many things, man. I was honestly having the time of my life in there. I did not want to leave. So the shoes actually got at Mendoza. Um, and there are these sick boots. And the heel is amazing. I love the heel. Nice oh, Cuban heel. Yeah, so the flares I've actually owned for a couple of years now. This jacket is from uh, Mendoza. So Leroy designed this and made this. It's crushed velvet. And then the scarf, I got this from Sherry's and she gave me a discount on it as well. So a big shout out to Bubbles at Sherry's. And then the sunglasses reminds me of like um like John Lennon a little Jimmy bit. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix, all of that. And the hat I got from Sherry's too. Um, and I started with a Liam Hodges pin that says sniff me because damn, do I smell good. That, that, is, my, that is my 70s fit. <laughs> I think um, if I could put you in a movie, it would be The Boat That Rocks. Oh, oh yeah. I think in the 70s, it's all about textures and patterns. And I do love the flares, of course. I mean, I know when it comes to these kind of things in the 70s, you, you wear flares, you do that. But seeing the whole look and how you've actually execute it, it's beautiful. I just want to talk about the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally like the, the statement piece. How can you make velour extra? Crush it. Big fan of extra. <laughs> As someone that loves the 70s, um, it was, it's very hard to make a decision. I think I need some time to have a think um, and I'll come back and tell you the results. So the winner is <laughs> Thank you to Mia for coming down and you know announcing me as the winner. This is this one's not just for me, man. These are for you guys at home that are in my corner. It's all love. So comment below like what what era or anything you want to see next because I'm down to delve into it. <laughs>